This is problem number 10 from section 2.6. And this problem it says, determine the domain and range of the function. Use various limits to find the range. So let's find the domain first. Uh, first of all, we have e to the x. Remember, e is just uh, 2.71. It's just a, a constant number. Uh, they use the letter e to represent this number. Um, but it's just a number, 2.71 to some value. So anytime you have uh, some number to an exponent, remember you can have that exponent be any number. So we can say that the domain of this, the domain of the function is going to be negative infinity to infinity. And the other way you could figure this out is by essentially going through and setting this equal to zero. So you could say seven plus e to the x equal to zero, like when you try to find your domain restrictions. We subtract seven over, you get e to the x equals negative seven. At this point, you wanna try and do a natural log on each side. You're not gonna be able to because you can't take the natural log of a negative number. And so that tells you that there's no way you can get zero in the denominator for this rational function. So that's why the domain is negative infinity to infinity. Now we wanna find the range. Well, in order to find the range, we need to use a couple of limits uh, to do this. So let's go ahead and start with, well, what's the, I wanna know just in general, what is the limit as x approaches infinity for e to the x? And what is the limit as x approaches negative infinity for e to the x? If I plug in a really large number in for e to the x, that's 2.71 to a really large number, that's just gonna approach infinity. And if I plug in negative infinity, which is gonna be a really small number here, anytime I take a e to the uh, negative really large value, remember a negative exponent just tells you to flip it into a fraction form, right? So we're gonna be actually approaching uh, zero. We're gonna try and basically be getting a really, really, really small number. So let's use these then, this, this idea here to find the limits of these as they approach infinity and negative infinity. So we're gonna say the limit as x approaches infinity for 49 minus e to the x over seven plus e to the x. Well, when we plug in infinity for this part here and this part here, we're gonna get essentially negative infinity on top. And on the bottom, we're gonna get infinity. So essentially, we're getting close to this negative one number because this is just gonna be a really, really large negative number. And this is gonna be a really, 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 really large positive number. And those two numbers are gonna be pretty close to each other. So this actually is just negative one for a limit. And then if we do the limit as x approaches negative infinity, 49 minus e to the x over seven plus e to the x. Well now, we're going to get, uh, essentially anytime we do the limit as x approaches negative infinity for e to the x, we get zero, so we end up with 49 minus zero over seven plus zero, which is seven. So I just wanna reiterate here, this when I plug in infinity, essentially I'm getting 49 minus infinity over seven plus infinity. So I'm gonna end up with two numbers that are essentially large. Now you don't really like to write it like this, but you'll see that you're gonna get two numbers that are really large. You know, we could plug in some really large numbers and you'll see that they'd be essentially leading to this negative one number. So what's our range then? Our range goes from negative one to seven but it never hits either one.